It took its time, making you take in the full nastiness of the image. If there's anything more ugly than slaughter, it's slaughter in silence. Storyville, City of Ghosts, BBC4, gave us a chance to see the heroism and sacrifice of the people behind the site, ordinary Syrians who risked all to make the truth known. It began in the unlikely setting of an awards ceremony in New York. It was all hairspray and big white teeth and in the midst of it, a small group of bearded young men blinking in the lights. You're so serious, my friend, said a photographer to one of the group. This man, Hamoud, later told us he was an introvert and obsessive. He channeled those traits into filming everything he saw in Raqqa. Others in his group seemed even less likely candidates for the role. Aziz was a student but not much into studying. A handsome party hound. None of them seemed the sort to seek glory, or thrills, or martyrdom. Mohammed was a high school maths teacher. It was more that, as the black clad fanatics took over the city of Raqqa and declared their macabre vision of a caliphate, these men felt they had no choice but to tell the world. Their network took a blow when one was arrested and his laptop searched. A core of original activists fled to Turkey and Germany. The caliphate sent spies after them. Their loved ones were executed. Hamoud spent hours watching the footage of his father's execution. The toll taken by the job was enormous. It gave him strength, he said, but it also took a lot away, not least his smile. This documentary could hardly have done its job without showing us the footage the Raqqa group wanted the world to see. Heads on railings, a crucified man being driven round town on a truck. These sights weren't exactly unfamiliar, but they took on a new horror. These men knew the people suffering in these videos. Raqqa is a small place. They might have fled, but they spent their days there, mired in it. Whatever praise came their way, they dodged it, saying it was the people left behind who deserved recognition. Our comrades, filming inside Raqqa, these are the people history should be written about. They were right. It should. But only if the evil done in Raqqa doesn't overshadow the good. From cold water kissing cousins, space shuttle, Triumph and Tragedy, Channel 5, told us how a once doomed space program turned the fortunes of the world round. With America's shuttle mothballed after the tragic explosion in 1986, the Soviets built an eerily accurate version of their own. It flew one mission and emptied the piggy bank. As Russia stopped financially propping up the rest of the communist world discontent set in. Walls were knocked down and, well, we know what happened next. Meanwhile, Battered by costly errors on the Hubble telescope and another tragedy in 2003, America realized the only way to afford space rockets was to share resources. Not so much necessity being the mother of invention as bankruptcy being the mother of cooperation.